Have you guys faced the predicament that you're just not in the mood to paint a particular model that doesn't really inspire you? In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys 4 tips that I use to keep myself motivated while painting models that don't particularly inspire me. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the Studio Collectors. In today's video, we'll switch things up a little bit from our usual tutorial format and I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks of how I personally stay motivated while painting models that aren't so inspiring. I'm going to share with you guys the entire process while also painting Octrin Glimpsecry. So this happens to everybody. When you get a box set or you get a set of miniatures, definitely there will be miniatures that really draw your attention. For me, in Curse City, it would definitely be the Vicross Bloodborne as well as the Vaskire. And because it comes in a set and I'm a crazy completionist, there are models that you just have to complete. And these models in the Curse City set are Octrin Glimpsecry and Torgalius the Chamberlain. No offense to the designers, but to me, these models don't really catch my fancy. As a result of this, sometimes as a painter, I face the problem of not being able to paint up these models to a similar standard as the models that I like and even worse, not even finishing these models. It's a slow, long crawl to the finish line. So today I hope to share with you guys some tips and tricks of how you can crawl to this finish line with as little pain as possible. So in order to solve the quality problem, I'm going to share with you guys my first tip which is to batch paint your miniatures. So by batch painting, what do I mean is I'm trying to get all the models up to a similar standard before I start painting them. So if you are familiar to the channel, I've done airbrushing for all the models and I've done it all in an entire batch. So to do the airbrushing stage, you're going to need these colours right here and these colours will help you create the red glow of the Curse City. Alright, so once you get these colours ready, let's get airbrushing right now. So we're going to be batch painting and as you can see behind Octrin is the entire Curse City set. Octrain is actually the first miniature that I painted in this set and because I knew at the back of my heart this wasn't very inspiring to me so I'm using my usual format of how I do the airbrush Evil Sun Scarlet, then black and then more colors white If you're not familiar with this step, you can go check out the rest of my other Custity videos and this allows this model to be of an equal level of everybody before we begin so that's why the quality is about the same so now that the airbrushing has been done and all the models are of a similar quality i'm going to be sharing with you guys my second tip of how i stay motivated while painting these miniatures so tip number two is to paint these miniatures first what I do is, I paint the miniatures that don't really inspire me first while I leave the miniatures that I really like at the end as a personal reward so that I can stay motivated to paint these miniatures. Also as a tip, I'm using the miniatures that I don't really like as a test colour palette so that once I test the colour palette and it works, I can move on to the next stage. This process also motivates me and allows me to know that the subsequent models, because of more practice, will be more beautiful than the first. So for this stage, we are going to be using these colours to paint Octrin Glimpsecry. Alright, get these colours ready. Let's get layering right now. Okay, so for the first stage, we're going to paint Octrin Glimpsecry. And this is the first model I've painted for Curse City. I've done this in Jean Steeler Purple to highlight his cloak over a base of Nagaroth Knight. So why am I doing this? I know the model kind of looks really messy now, but just forgive me for this because this is the first custody model I'm painting and I'm experimenting to try to paint this red glow effect. This is something that I've not done ever and I just gotta really experiment. So moving on with this experiment, I'm mixing Vallejo model color pale blue grey with Vallejo model color few blue. This usually isn't the way I paint the rest of the models but I think because this is the first model, I'm full of energy and full of enthusiasm. 
and told myself, hey, I can finish Octrain Glimpse Cry and I can move on to the rest of the models that inspire me a lot more. So in a sense, Octrain Glimpse Cry is the father of the painting style that I've done and many of you have followed, which I'm really, really honored about. So moving on to the death mask that he's wearing, I'm using Vallejo model color silver grey mixed in with a little bit of Games Workshop Ushakti bone and this is the result. Just defining all the white and grey areas because he's primarily purple, white, grey and trying to keep the colors simple here. And I'm going to use exactly the same highlight for the beard because everything is roughly the same color. To me, I just really wanted to push this model forward and get this done. Okay, so now moving on. As you can see in my normal videos, usually I don't rework the reds so often, but because this is my first model and I'm not sure how it's supposed to look, I've got to play around with the reds just to find a spot that I'm comfortable with. This happens very frequently for the first model in the batch, but because this model isn't really one of my favorites personally, uh, I'm really happy to just experiment with this and make this really work. Just picking out some of the details again and going on with the highlighting on the beard just to bring the focus more towards the face. Alright, then right after this, I told myself I really really am tired of this model already so I just told myself hmm is it time to take a break and right now I'm highlighting the purple cloak and I will take a little break which I will share in my next tip now that this stage is complete we're going on to the third tip the third tip is take little breaks and keep yourself motivated. Painting a model that you don't really like can be quite tiring. And for the sake of completion, very very draining on the human soul. So I took a little break from Octran Glimpse Cry after painting the layering. And I went on to several other models that I'm a little bit more inspired by. Such as Gosleth the Grave Keeper and Raduka the Wolf. After these 2-3 to three days, I told myself that I had to go back to paint Octrain in Glimpse Grind and I went back to do the detailing. For the detailing stage, you're going to need these colors right here. Get them ready and let's quickly finish Octrain in Glimpse Grind right now. Yes, it has been 2 weeks after I've started painting Octrain in Glimpse Grind and now I'm currently using Vallejo Model Color Black Red to redefine some of the details. As you can see right now, uh, after taking a break, I'm re-energized and I'm very inspired to finish this model. While there have been some drastic improvements to this stage, I'm really happy with how it is right now and I'm just redefining all the light facing edges and creating them with black red. So lastly, I'm redefining the reflected light using Games Workshop Evil Sun Scarlet. Just doing a quick edge highlight and in just a little bit, I'll be moving on to my next tip of being motivated while painting some not very inspiring models. Yep. Right, he's starting to look actually pretty good. And as you can see, this art style actually followed on to the rest of my Curse City models. Now that the detailing stage is done, we are going to finish off the entire model. As you can see, this is the final result. And my last and final tip for you guys is to finish up these models together so that all of them are of the same standard. What I've done is I've finished the basing and the rest of the model along with my favorite models such as the Veskaya. And there we have it. These are four tips that I use to stay motivated while painting miniatures that don't really inspire me. Do you have other tips about staying motivated? Let me know in the comments below. Also, why not tag us on Instagram so that I can give you feedback on your very own miniature painting. 
Thank you all for watching all the way to the end. Why not give us a like and subscribe because this keeps the lights on the studio on and it keeps me producing miniature painting content such as this. If you want to support the channel even further, why not head on to the Patreon and become a Patreon today and also get a whole slew of painting content which I have produced over the year or so. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end and I hope to see you in the next Cursed City Painting video. Stay motivated guys. See ya.